Hello! Hi, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Um, I think the second time... This is like the second time I'm going through this, alright? Actually, third time. I tried to record, I think I recorded over an hour... Maybe two hours worth of content before, and... I was having trouble with my software because it wasn't working on Windows 10. So I had to get and download a new OBS software. And then I had to convert it to, like, use the compatibility to make it work on Windows 8. Um, and so then it worked again. And then I unplugged my mic and then I replugged it back in. And for some weird reason, it automatically disconnects it and doesn't automatically reconnect it. So basically, I recorded another, like, two hours worth of content again. But this time, the audio was gone. Not just the game audio. Not just my audio, the game audio as well. So now I'm just doing this. I just created this character just willy-nilly. To kind of catch up to my main character, the one I started off in the first episode with. And I just basically just... I just made a red She-Hulk or something. So this is the Assassin class, and I have the S-Tuck. Which is basically just like a stabby... If you took a longsword and a rapier, and they had the sexicles... And had a child. That's basically what this what this sword is. It's made for it's made for stabbing. And uh, a decent amount of people actually use it on multiplayer because some people like what you can do is sneak up behind somebody and then just stab them in the back. Or if you're good enough. You can, uh, parry. Ow. Ow. We hit each other. Okay, so the firebomb's gonna come in useful. So, now we're gonna do the first boss, um, as soon as I'm done killing these fuckers. Like that, that's how you do backstab. Alright, I'm sure I've showed you in the first episode. Uh, it's very confusing because I've recorded this sequence three times, and I forget which, like, is like, oh, was that the time? Was that the first time I recorded it? Did I do that in the first recording or the second recording? Like, it just, I don't know, it just gets very misconstrued and uh, very easily, you know mixed up. So, basically, here's the first boss. Uh, he's a handful, but he's beatable. Um, he's one of the more easy, easy bosses in the game. You do fight him, like, much, much later on in the game, but he is, like, so much, like, ten times, twenty times more hard than this. So, let's pull this sword out of him and initiate the boss battle. And here we go! Ha ha! Ow! God damn it! Alright. Huh? Huh? Ha ha! Ha ha! Ah! Shit. That's the thing about this game. Patience. Ow! Fuck! I, <laughs> Patience. I'm not even taking my own advice. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, I forgot to equip the firebombs. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh, I'm not close. But Okay. Uh, can I do it real quick? <laughs> okay. Oh God! Fuck you! 
Fuck you! Jesus, if I get hit one more time, I'm dead. I missed! How did I miss? Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, God damn it! If I have more Estus Flask, I probably, I probably could have beaten him that time. This time, I should be able to beat him. Hopefully. Oh, shit, I'm out of... Oh. Great. Whatever the fuck this does. Let's go. Let's just blaze past these guys. Just fuck them up the ass. Get out of here. Ha ah, ha ha, you can't catch me. And here we go. Back to the boss. That's the cool thing about this boss is that it just, it's right here. So it's not too, too bad when you die. Oh! I was about to stab him. Hold on, where's my souls? There they are. Oh! Ho! Oh, 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 oh. Touche! Hoika! Hoika! Shit! Up! Uh, Hoi! Two, three, done. All right. What? And another one. And a poop, poop, and oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Halfway mark. This happens to every boss. Ah shit! Ah! Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck. Ah! Shit! Can I get back? Can I get back? Bloop! 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 Uh ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! Ho 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 ho! Hey! Come on! Got him! Yeah! Air of fire destroyed. And our second bonfire. And now I have the ember. <sighs> so now um, what this does is it basically gives you, I think, 30% health boost. And it also makes uh, like symbols and stuff like that and like signs left by other players uh, more visible. And summon signs, so you can summon other people and play cooperatively uh, to your world, or summon sign uh, for like a dark phantom, so you can play against somebody. And this is the most this is the most pointless thing. I've said this three times, still going to say it again. This is the most pointless item. It's a broken sword hilt. Nobody uses it. It's the worst. It's the worst. It, like nobody, nobody is going to use that out of like ironically nobody is going to use that nobody homeward bone okay so those basically allow you to teleport back to the last bomb bonfire without using your uh without losing any of your souls this dark sign does that but you lose your souls on the spot so you have to travel back to where you were uh Not bad if you know how to get back to the same place twice. Um, and hop. Get back stabbed. Fuck face. Oh shit, I forgot the burial gift, didn't I? Ah, well, it was fine. It's all good. It's all good. It's fine. Um... Can I go to the side? Because I think I'm just going to go and get the... Uh, oh, wait. Wrong way. I'm going to try to get the Silver Serpent Ring. 
which, by the way, is going to be so much fun to watch me constantly jumping up a tree and falling. <laughs> okay, so, um, this tree gives you a seed so that enemies, like, normally, phantoms, when they invade your world, the enemies from your world, they don't attack them, they just ignore them. That tree gives you a seed, an item, that allows you to, uh, so that when you are invaded by another phantom, randomly, ah, oh shit. Uh, the enemies will respond and try to kill them. So, a lot of the times, if you don't have that seed, they'll basically just lie in wait so that they can ambush you when you're being overrun by, like, the NPC enemies. Um, so, uh, what, if you're wondering what I'm doing, this is kind of an exploit. Um, I need to get up on top of that roof, but in order to do that, if I wanted to do it legitimately, I would have to play a lot further into the game. Well, not a lot further into the game. Like, it, uh, like a couple of hours worth into the game. And then I would need to get 20,000 souls to buy a key after finding an item that's hidden so that I can finally buy a key to get 20,000 souls. To buy a key, get this, unlock this gate, then I can go on top of that bridge, jump down onto the roof, and then I can get the Silver Serpent Ring. But... If you... This is extremely difficult. Like, I've done it... Five, six times already. It's still hard every time. I still have no idea exactly how to do it. Yes! Okay, well, apparently I'm getting the hang of it. I... I... Don't ask me how I do that, because I just... I don't know. It's... It's trial and error. And, uh, also, there's this adorable little talking crow. What the pickle be? You're adorable. You're just adorable. Estus Shard! It's another cool thing up here. Estus shards allow you to upgrade your Estus flask, basically giving you more health. And look at this! It's magic coming in. There's a lot of false, uh, illusory, illusory walls. And bum ba da bum. Covetous silver serpent ring. Words good. I'm. Um, I'm. Um, I. I am good words. And I'm going to equip that right away. It gives me more souls so I can level up faster. I never take it off. Even later, like, my other playthroughs, I've never taken it off. Ever. Welcome to the bonfire, one. Hello, pretty. Pretty lady. Ooh, why don't you light my fire? Ooh. Can I have a foot massage? Honestly, I don't really care about the foot massage. I just, I, I, just, I'm, I'm at the sort of like, I'm with the whole like Pulp Fiction thing where it's like, oh, there's no sexual thing, but like you say there's no sexual thing. People like you can openly just do it because we're like, oh yeah, it's not sexual in the least bit. But of course, deep down, you know, like they both know that there is a sort of sensuality thing going on there. You know what I mean? So, I try to do that, and yeah. Oh, I didn't know the assassin gets ten luck. Damn. All right. Select one more attribute. There's, there's nothing to select. It, oh, well, I guess I already leveled up. Produce the coiled sword of the bonfire. The mark of ash will guide thee to the land of the lords. To Lothric, where the homes of the lords converge. Okay, so basically, as far as I can tell with the lore, the lore is complicated as hell. <laughs> like, there are people... 
it's it can be interpreted very differently to everybody has their own interpretation of it my interpretation is that uh like in the beginning of time there was basically nothing but dragons dragons ruled the world then there was fire and with it birthed like humanity and the dragons ruled the world and they were like hey you know what this fucking this the, this fire this flame is power and we can use this fire to basically use it as power to fucking kill the dragons. And so they did. And the humans and, like, a bunch of other, like, godlike beings basically created, uh, you know, they, they basically created their own empire. And, like, so humanity was also, there was a, a there was, like, five souls or, like, five embers uh, five, five like fires that just ca came from nothingness and like they were basically like powerful souls and one of them being the dark soul and that was given to the pygmy uh, and what that did was basically um, create humanity there was just one guy and then they basically just spread and every human has a portion of the dark soul within them because it was, it's kind of like an Adam and Eve sort of thing going on there. And so, eventually, after a whole bunch of, like, backstabbing and, like, a whole bunch of, like, Game of Thrones kind of shit and stuff, like, there, there, there is a kind of, like, backstabby kind of shit going on between, like, holding the power... And so, there's these Lords of Cinder. What the fuck is a Lord of Cinder? Okay, basically... They hold a big-ass portion of the fire, the flame, the flame of life, basically. And every once in a while, there becomes apocalyptic events, such as now, where these people who are undead, who were basically just ash, are resurrected, which is your character, and they can harvest the fire, the ember, and they're set out to basically rekindle the fire because it fades every once in a while and so they need to get the power to basically uh, stop the world from ending as the gods know it by the way this guy has a katana this is one of the best early weapons oh god Bunk! one of the best early weapons in the game So, I'm basically just gonna... Basically, just gonna try to duke him. Oh, what the fuck! <sighs> Damn it. So, continue on. Yeah, so basically, every once in a while, there's almost like a sacrificial annual thing where now these Lords of Cinder, who have gathered, who basically have the embers, the five embers, um, need to be, like, they've lived for so long because they're immortal and shit that it ate away at their mind and now they're all crazy and they need to be put back into their thrones and except that guy he's he's relatively sane so there are four big ass bosses there's Yorm the Giant the Abyss Watchers Aldrich and Lothric and they all suck balls because they're very hard. So, yeah. You know what? I'm not even going to bother with that katana guy. I killed him by basically letting him fall off the cliff off the side. I just wanted to do that battle just to show you what he was like. He's a very he's a very big toughie. That katana is awesome. Um I managed to get it and I leveled it up uh once with two titanite shards. And the katana does bleeding damage. So this is a high castle Lothric. And we're gonna go to the next bonfire. 
And then I'm going to end the episode there. And then we'll continue on uh, catching up to where I left off in the second... No, oh, this is the second episode. The third episode will keep on going to try to catch up to where I am. And so we're going to go to this bonfire who's right in front of us. We're going to go in here. There we go. And so our goal is basically to get to there. And there is nothing but enemies, bosses, and a whole army waiting to kill us. While we need to go and kill those Lords of Cinder who are very powerful. So the souls, basically, of the dead give you power. 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 Yeah. Sorry, I just let it, I hit a low note. So, we're going to continue on from this point in the next episode. And we're going to go kill that guy that just walked out from the right. Okay, so see you later. Bye-bye!